Greetings to everyone. I'm really honored to share this group with Empowered Groups. I'm here to share a few thoughts about the power of unconsciousness. I just uh, be reminded once a layman asked the great sage to reach the top where to start. To reach the top, we have to start from the top. It means what? I didn't know, but I could realize where I stayed. Because I'm going to talk here what to do to reach success with the people who have already succeeded. They are happy to be here. Maybe you have to chill, relax, and just you have to justify how did you get success. So these are the reasons, the background of you, and then your mind it happened. Actually, the power of our unconscious mind, which some people call subconscious, is ninety-five percent of our behavior depends on our unconscious mind. Only 5% we do consciously. What is it 95%? It's gathered from our birth, even before our birth, and it is stored as a guest card. So whatever we add, whatever we study, it goes to those folders and it helps us to succeed. So I'd like to put a few questions before you. Sometimes, we just relax in our living room, and suddenly we remember to fetch something from our storeroom, and that's evening time, no sunlight, and you have to get it from the storeroom. You are getting into the storeroom, and you are seeing there is no power supply, it's full of darkness. You cannot see even a single thing. But you have to fetch that thing because it is very, very important for you to get it by that time. What will you do? Without light, you will search for that product because it's very urgent, you need it, or somewhere from some doing something else, you will first make a light to shine and then you will take it. Keep in your mind. This is one point I would like to make. The second one is, normally we used to say, I'm really stressed. I don't know why I'm stressed. And whenever you go for some problem with the doctors, they immediately they will prescribe some tablets along with it. They will say, don't get stressed. How can it be without stress? These are the questions that arise in our mind. But now the researchers say, and they ask us, stress is good or bad? And they say, stress is good. How is it? Let's okay, stop now. And the third one I would like to know is, we all have eaten lobsters. Most of us like it. Yes. But do you know the lobster has a reddish color to not allow it to grow comfortably. It can find its growth, but the lobster grows. It has been mined. What are the obstacles before that? I don't mind about the shell. Let the shell protect me. But it cannot control me. So what is to protect? I have to grow. So protection is to pay for my growth and the lobster grows. How? What are we going to learn from the lobster? The other one knows. We all visualize. Before we get the success, surely you don't visualize it. The aim, the goal, before you. But do you know the power of imagination? Which could make us, also break us? Let's see, that is why. But, my first question is, in the dark room, you need to face something else. What will you do? Here, let's connect to our life. Sometimes, we will feel low. Some problems are there, we need to solve it. But I'm trying and trying, I cannot find the real solution for that. What are the solutions that I know is not working now? Then we will come to an end of the point that, oh my God, I don't have a solution for this problem. This is too severe, too heavy for me. But the reality is, the pressure, the issue has made you as a low. It is like you don't have a power supply there. The connection to your brain is now low, so you are not able to find it out. 
now if you can synthetic solution put something temporarily as a solution okay no problem i will do this as a solution this could bring me happiness some synthetic problem as a emergency light or ups or something else you put it inside the power supply will be to your brain now you will be able to breathe in and breathe out now analyze the problem the real problem now you will be able to find the real solution now this synthetic happiness synthetic solution keep in your mind as a emergency light that could serve for you the reality and the second question now with regard to stress the stress when we feel there are a lot of questions are put before us a lot of people comes and asks a lot of questions one time or when, when, the, when the thing is not normal it is very abnormal the situation is abnormal then we will sweat we feel nervous we feel something like oh my god this is this time we will think this is because the problem is out of my hand and we get no nervous then no this is the nature of the body it is trying to help you the problem that automatic you have the solution is not the problem you have something more because it is going to take you to some more level higher so now the oxygen supply is more needed and it is the giving the oxygen supply to your mind and now you have to relax and allow that the magic to happen in your body and in your mind no i'm not stressed i just allow the oxygen to pass through get my brain more active so that i can solve this problem which i have not used it used before just think that you are not used to it before doesn't mean that it is a big problem it is that it is a new problem so always replace the word with big with a new it is just new to me so once if i handle this i have to find a new solution that is the one thing that you need to learn so now the stress they say is it is good when you are ready to analyze it when you are ready to face it when you are ready to accept the new growth for you so next time when doctor say don't get stressed you say no i'll get a good stress it will allow me to grow and the third one in asters the box lobster well the lobster has a beautiful shell we all know that colorful one and it is so valuable but you know this little shell will protect the lobster very nicely but when the lobster starts to grow this shell can find its growth this connect to our our own personal happenings they are protection you want to be in a comfortable place you don't want to get out of this comfort zone Our oh, mind says, "Oh, go, don't go! You will get hurt. You may fail there. A lot of things around us. But what the lobster will do is, it will not listen to it. It knows that if it has the shell, it cannot grow. It goes underneath the rock. It unfolds its all the shells. Now the lobster is without the shell, of course. But now the lobster." Will, underneath it will be in the shelter, and the shell will grow to its growth. See, the lobster grows now, and the shell is going to grow. Think now, to a mother or a parent, whoever it is, or your own mind. If it start to grow, what they will do? They will not leave you alone. Their mind power, their shelter, their thing will also grow now to protect you. Similarly, our mind, the adaptation syndrome, adaptation mind, will adapt to the growth that we make now. So next time when you think that you eat lobster, oh, talk to that lobster. Hey, I learned a lesson from you. This is how we can grow. And next, I think I asked, so visualization. So visualization, the power of visualization. See, when we want to succeed. And you think of something that you are born with the success ability, because you know we have our power of unconscious mind. If we just put it in maths, it is ten to the power of ten to the power of ten to the power of eleven. 
So put 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 11 makes 0, 0, 0, 0, it cannot count. And it is equal to stars in the galaxy, sun particles in the beach. And you know that we always we have two heads and we will use it to, to the fullest. Two eyes, two eyes, we will not see like this. We will use the two eyes, two ears, and uh, we don't want to waste it all. See, even if you buy a treadmill and we just have a resolution at every year, first of time, I'm going to reduce, I'm going to be fit. Immediately we will buy a treadmill and we will put it. We will see it, five days we will use it. I spent this much, I, I need to use it. You know, I bought a very good one, I need to use it. We will do it for five, few days. Then one or other what gets the priority. And you know, I'm a workaholic. I cannot waste my time for this. We just convince ourselves. I'm a superman only. We just convince ourselves. What is it? I'm not able to use. And after 10 days, we will think, why this treatment is getting wasted? Let me put my towel over it. So we don't want to waste anything. But now think, our power of mind is getting wasted. We all, we all have that power, we are thinking that we should use everything around us to the fullest. Now if we think you have that power, 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 11, if you put it in that mind, you, should, you will use it to the fullest. You will come to know the real you, who you are, you know, because you are more than what you are, whoever you are. You are more than what you are, you are capable of being more than what you are. So whatever the aim you put before you, we have to visualize it. We have to see that, oh, I'm this, I'm that. That visualization is your GPRS before you. It will make you to reach where you want to reach. That is the unconscious mind's power. Here I would like to share with you the story, the real one. It's from Santiago. Brother Shatter, she's a swimmer. She started swimming from her age six. And she has reached the top, getting a lot of laurels and prizes for that swimming. At her mid age, now she's going to do that another record break. She's trying to cross the longer area and she's swimming, swimming, and this is the first thing that she's going to do for such a long distance. But she's going swimming, and at one day, she will get tired and she's looking around. There's a ship coming, a boat coming along with her for her help. Now she's looking around, she couldn't see anything, the seashore, because the mind says there should be the seashore near, but she's not able to see, because it's cloudy, it's foggy. Oh my God, I don't know, I'm pretty tired. Where the end point is, how long should I have to travel, how, how long should I have to swim? The thinking, how long should I have to do, that thinking has the power to break. So she's like, I surrender herself, and she got it, the help of the boat, and she got into the boat. Just uh, less than a mile, the seashore has come. She lost the record break because she couldn't see the seashore. Now she analyzed, oh God, I'm going to see the seashore. That was the one thing that I failed. Not that I'm tired. So now she practiced in her mind. She visualized something in her mind. She's trained again. And now she's doing the same thing. At the same point, she's feeling the same frustration and tiredness. Looking around here, she couldn't see anything. This time also, there is very much foggy. She didn't know, but now she had an experience. Now she is visualizing the seesaw, the end point, before her eyes. Well, this is just a mile here. She's just seeing that one, and she's able to do, and she reached it, and now she broke, she has broken the uh, record. Now she made the record break. This is the one. Don't think, look into a situation. Look into you. Put that, uh, this one, end point to you. Oh, this is my goal. I'm going to reach it. And if you see any boundaries before that, you cannot reach it. Means that's a limited belief. You have to, it's your comfort zone. You have to come over it. It's just a habit zone. Think it is just because of the habit that you are feeling comfortable. And in the new habit, like the lobster, it will make you reach the new heights. So with one thing more, I'll just finish up this one. The one thing is, if you could do one practice with me, you will feel that visually. 
the power of the imagination. I think you won't feel sleepy, baby. So I want you to get alert as well. If you can do this one, well, just have your hands like this. Have your hands like this. Look into me. This is the right hand, right? Just close your eyes. Feel that in your right hand. In your right hand, I'm placing heavier books over you. Just put like this. Without any attachment, it should be and floating. It should be floating. So, it should be floating like this. Also, put some books, heavier books, on the right hand. I'm putting heavier books on your right hand. And in the left hand, I'm trying a lighter balloon, which is taking you up left hand to the chopper level. I'm putting heavier books on your right hand, more and more I'm putting. Feel it on your right hand, more books. Feel it on your left hand, the balloon is tight, which is making the hand up. Feel it. The right hand, you are feeling the heavier. The books are kept, more and more you will feel heavy. Now, look into both the hands. The one hand is up and one hand is down. Can you imagine? You didn't place anything. You didn't place anything. You just imagine. The same thing. Someone is making you to think you are feeling heavier. You are with problem. This one is very hard to do. This is just the thinking which is putting pressure on you. If you think that, no, I can do it. I'm happier, I'm lighter, everything is comfortable for me. You can achieve it. So let's visualize the success and achieve the success. Thank you. Happy for this.